break. There's a big, big wolf down there. Welcome back. Today we're at Top of the Rock Golf Cart Tour. Come with us. Hey friends, today we're back at Johnny Morris's Lost Canyon Cave and Nature Trail. This is one of the only places in Missouri where it's legal to drink and drive. The Top of the Rock Lost Canyon Golf Cart Tour coming at you. You excited, Ada? Yeah. Michelle's always excited. She's ready to go. <laughs> this thing was slower than last time, I think. These things have slowed down. I think they got a little worried that they were just too dangerous. Got the family with us. We've got the Danielle and Austin, which is Michelle's daughter and son-in-law. I did a tour last year, and they've changed these a little bit. It seems like the carts are a little bit slower. They now have a solid top where they used to, you could open the top or have it be solid. So some things have changed just in this last year, but the trail so far, exactly the same. We're just heading into the woods, Uh-oh, we are going in a cave. Look at this. These animal sculptures are a new addition this year. Hey. You like it just as well as last year? Oh yeah. Yes. And the weather's cooler today. Nice. Yeah, we've got a nice cool July day, which is uh, yeah. rare. Yeah, are... So it looks like they, they blocked these parking spots off now. They don't want people parking right here for some reason. I really don't get this with the no parking, no pulling over. It's great with Ford. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, Blake, there's a big, big wolf down there. Not a real one. <laughs> okay, and we've got a steep decline coming, so it says slow down. I'm gonna push this thing to the max, see what it'll do. going that fast. Okay, here we are. Coming up on the cave. Look at this. Beautiful view. Water rushing below. We can park here and get a couple pics, guys. I'm parking. We're going to get a couple of pictures. Ugh. Here we go. How y'all liking it? This is my favorite part of Branson. I the love vibe. the cannon. So yep. I've seen my mama. <laughs> Look at you. Look, even the little ones like it. Already feeling the cool air. Looks like we are there. I think you turned the lights on. Which one? I think you turned them on, didn't you? Did you turn them on? I want to see the bats. Getting a bass reel, I'm getting a cannon. Yeah, the cannon's real good. Grapefruity, kind of sweet. Prickly good. pear. As you enter the cave, there's a small bar. You're able to get soda and water for $3, beer for $9, or one of their specialty drinks for $12. I tried the Cannon, which is a whiskey pineapple lemon based drink. And overall, it was pretty tasty. Isn't that the non alcoholic one? Yes, yeah. Nice. Whoa. Look at him. He's fancy. He's got a corner in it. As you enter the cave, the sound of rushing water intensifies as you notice a large waterfall illuminated with ultraviolet light.
This is where it's really cool. I kept thinking how this reminded me of Lost Valley in northern Arkansas, which is a natural hiking trail. I wonder if this whole place was inspired by Lost Valley. Check out that video next and let me know what you think in the comments. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, we're on the Eagle's Nest or Eagle's Lookout. Look, we're on the lookout. <laughs> we're on the Eagle's Nest Lookout. And it looks, it's a little hot out here. Yeah. But we are looking, as you see Table Rock Lake back it's in the background. Beautiful. What do you think about today's tour? Oh, it's fantastic. This just, is such a wonderful thing to do with your family. Just as good as last year? Oh yeah, awesome. For those of you wanting to attend this attraction, it's right outside of Branson, Missouri in Ridgedale, Missouri. It's at Top of the Rock and it's about $45 per person plus tax for adults, $20 per person plus tax for children. The Lost Canyon Cave and Nature Trail is just about two and a half miles long. But the ticket price also includes admission to the ancient Ozarks Natural History Museum as well. And this is amazing. Okay, so here's my theory. I suspect that this whole Lost Canyon project was based on the Lost Valley down in Arkansas. The cave. I think that Johnny Morris visited the Lost Valley and said, if I could just bring golf carts down and get everybody down here to see this, it'd be the biggest attraction anywhere. And that's what this is. Okay, so my question for all of you, was this based on the Lost Valley? Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you clowns on the rebound. Like and subscribe. It was, it's my favorite thing. There's no better place than at the top. Wow. wow. It is. The great. top of the rock. Hey friends, if you want to test out my theory, check out this video next. Thank you guys 100% for watching one more time, and we'll catch you clowns on the rebound. Wave goodbye.